Okay. Ready, fam? Ready, guys? Ready? Say hi. Holly, say hi. Say hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. What is up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel for today's video. I am finally, finally doing a favorites video. I haven't done one since November. So I gotta catch you guys up on what my favorites have been since December and January. So it's gonna be like a combined month's favorites. I know I'm late because it is now February 15th. Like I said for today's video, I will be running you guys through some of my current favorites, I guess you could call it. So yeah, that is what we're gonna call it. Current favorites. And so it will be a mixture of some foods and some fashion and just about everything. <laughs> All right, so if you guys want to see my current favorites, then just keep watching. So for my first favorite is going to be a food item. And so for those who may or may not know, I have started prep. Um, I will be doing a show in a little under 16 weeks, but I will talk about that in a, in a I'll be talking about that in a separate video, just so that this isn't hella hella long. But anyways, so my first favorite has to be cauliflowered rice. I have played around with it in the off season, but for whatever reason, come prep time, I've been just loving it because I am a serious, serious carb lover. And well, I don't have carbs in every single one of my meals, let's get real, that's just not gonna happen for me and my body. So what I've been doing is supplementing my carbs for veggies. So I mean, technically veggies are a carb, but you know what I mean, complex carbs, rice, things like that. So anyways, I have been loving cauliflower rice. Um, one recipe in particular I've been just obsessed with, it just tastes like fried rice in my opinion, has been using the like snowed cauliflower and then adding some red chili flakes, garlic powder, onion powder, and some spray butter, and put those things together, and it's just so, so delicious. And what I do is I mix in some egg whites and one egg, and seriously guys, if you were to grab maybe some green onions in there, fried rice, like, no joke. If you guys have not tried it yet, you guys have to. You can also add some shrimp, you can add some chicken. Um, another thing I've been doing is actually mixing my lean ground beef with the cauliflower rice as well, and that's been a great mixture. It totally makes my mind think I'm eating rice, and it's just, just as satisfying as me eating rice. I mean, I don't know if it's because I'm Asian, but I love my rice. If you were to tell me to choose any carb source, it's rice. So anyways, that is favorite number one. I will put a picture of the cauliflower rice that I use over here. It's actually about 379, uh, excuse me. Excuse. Hey. But anyways, it is $3.79 at Costco, but you do get a pretty decent sized bag, and it does last me for a few meals. So, like I said, I particularly think it's a decent price. I know there's also frozen cauliflower out there, I just need to go find it. But either way, definitely try cauliflower rice if you haven't already. It is a lifesaver, especially if you are a carb lover like I am. Excuse us! Alright, my next obsession for the past two months have been seamless leggings. I have been wearing all of my seamless leggings so, so much. I may not take a picture and post it on Instagram all the time, but okay, you know what guys, we're gonna just have to deal with this one over here. He's just not satisfied right now. Oh, and he leaves. He heard me, I heard his feelings. Yep, going up the stairs. So anyways, yeah, seamless leggings. I've been loving them. My Gymshark ones, my Do You Even ones, I've been wearing them just so often, and that is probably why I went so hard when the Gymshark Seamless Ombre collection came out. I will be doing a full review on that as well, just so you guys know. I will make sure to have it up before they restock new colors in the future. But anyways, again, going off topic, I have been loving them. They're just so comfortable, they're so flattering on the body, and I just, I just love them. I don't know why I've been obsessed with them lately, but seriously, every time I go to reach any pair of my 300 pairs of leggings, I am always, always reaching for the seamless ones, and whenever a company comes out with seamless ones, I just have to try them. So, I have been obsessed with seamless leggings, and the whole, like, emphasizing the V, I've just kind of ignored and embraced, because Seamless leggings are just so comfortable. So that is favorite number two. And favorite number three has been my Jaybird X3 wireless headphones. I got those on Boxing Day and I haven't given you guys an update since then, but they are seriously amazing. I've had no issues with them. 
They stay in my ear when I'm doing plyos, they stay in my ear when I'm sweating a lot, and they just give great sound quality. I've had, like I said, no issues with them. They connect great with my phone, my computer, and you can actually connect them to more than one device at once. So it'll actually switch depending on what's playing audio um, first. So I thought that was really cool too, so that when I'm at a coffee shop and I have my phone with me plus my computer, it just kind of switches back and forth uh, depending on whatever's playing audio at the time, so I think that's really cool. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys know that I have not used my Beats in such a long time since I've gotten my Jaybirds. And if you guys are on the market looking for some new wireless headphones that stick through plyometrics and being super sweaty, then I would definitely, definitely recommend the Jaybirds for sure. Next favorite of mine, in case it's not obvious by my skincare routine video that I put up, a few videos back. The Ordinary brand has been amazing to me since I've invested into it. And I don't even wanna say invested because it's honestly the most affordable skincare line that I've ever, ever tried. But I am just so, so impressed by the company and I just can't see myself not using them for like ever, to be honest with you. Like the price is just so good. And like I said, the quality of the product is amazing and the performance of it, it's just really, really good. Like I'm so impressed and I just can't wait to see more things that they come out with, try more of their things. But for the products that I do have, I have to say hands down, I am so impressed. Five stars straight across the board. If you guys are looking for a skincare line to try out, I would definitely recommend The Ordinary. For me, I got them off the Sephora website because I'm all about those Ebates rewards, so I don't shop off their actual website. I like to shop off Sephora because like I said, your girl needs those Ebates so she can continue doing her online shopping. So anyways, The Ordinary brand, you guys need to, need to check it out. If you guys watch my skincare routine, you will see that it has definitely helped with the improvement of my skin and like I said, I just can't see myself without it. And now, this is not a sponsored post or a paid post. I'm just being straight up with you guys about the way I feel about the brand. So second last favorite is vitamin C packs. Those have been so good. Like I've had them a while back, but I've been just reaching for them more as of lately. My mom actually found some mango ones and key lime ones and I've been mixing it with my pre-workout because I like to take vitamin C along with my pre-workout and I don't know what it is, like the carbonation of it or like I just don't know what it is but I just love it and it's a great way to get that extra vitamin C into your body. Yes, there's five grams of carbs in it but honestly, it's okay. There's five grams of carbs in a tablespoon of ketchup. So really, it's not that big of a deal. But if you guys just want something as like a little treat, like what I've been doing actually lately is, so like I said, doing it with my pre-workout, but also like at nighttime, if I feel like I need that like sweet tooth craving satisfaction, I will take some of my BCAAs in Sweet Tea by Mutant, and then I will put a mango packet with it. And man, is it ever good. My brother tried it, my boyfriend tried it. They both were like, hmm. That's pretty good. So it's been a great sweet tooth Kerber. Does that sound weird? Kerber? Kerber. Kerber. That sounds really weird. But anyways, you know what I mean. It helps satisfy my sweet tooth. And because it's like a little bit carbonated, it helps kind of fill the tummy up a little bit. So loving, loving vitamin C packs. You can get them literally anywhere, any grocery store, any health food store, just literally anywhere. And then the final favorite of mine is a beauty product again, and that is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Eyeliner. In case it's not obvious, your girl got rid of her eyelash extensions. So she's been able to play around with some makeup, wear some eyeliner again, wear some eyelashes again. So I've used Kat Von D on my clients for quite some time, but I haven't been able to really play around with it on myself just because I've had eyelash extensions for like two years straight. So being able to try it was really, really cool and I'm just obsessed. Like the color of it and how long it lasts and just how easy it is to make a wing liner. Like I can literally do it in like two seconds. And like I said, just the color of it, like it's really high pigmentation. And just the convenience of it being as a pen has been amazing and I've been using it literally every time that I've done my makeup since I've gotten my eyelash extensions off. So if you guys are looking for a good eyeliner, I would definitely recommend the Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Liner. I believe that's what it's called. All right, so that is gonna wrap up my current favorites. Honestly, in addition to what I've mentioned in this video, I've also still been loving everything from November. There's just no point in me re-mentioning it. You are making fun of me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Obviously, I'm a hand talker and my boyfriend's literally right there and he's making fun of me. Who else is a hand talker? I just, I don't know. I can't imagine not using my hands. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys found some new products that maybe you guys want to try for next month. Let me know what your guys' current favorites are. It could be beauty, it could be fitness, it could be food, it could be random, it could be clothes, it could be whatever you guys want. Let me know and I'd be more than willing to check it out. Anyways, in case I said this already or not, I can't quite remember. I will know when I'm editing. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick favorites video. Sorry there wasn't too much, but like I said, a lot of them were just repeats from November. So if you guys want to know what those were, I'll link it up below. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have an amazing long weekend. It is family day long weekend. I think that's like across the board, like in the States and stuff too. Not quite sure. But anyways, long weekend or not, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I'll see you guys on Monday for another video. Bye.